All right, so check this out. As soon as we create it, Xcode is automatically gonna make a bunch of files for us. And these are pretty much the default files. And if all of this looks a little overwhelming at first, I wanna give you guys like the real quick two second tutorial. And by the way, let me go on a little rant right here. Whenever I'm like reading about a new piece of software or some new programming language, like five chapters, in the beginning of every book, they go through the interface and they're like, okay, let me talk to you about all the stuff in detail and, you know, launch images source and this is where that is and this is where you can get embedded. I'm like, I don't even know what this crap is yet. So you're like wasting my time and overwhelming me. So I decided not to do that. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk a little bit about it right now so you guys know where the basics of everything are. And then later on when we need them, I'm going to show you guys in detail how to access everything. I think that'll be a lot better. So let's start at the very top left corner. Of course, we know these are just the close and minimize your windows and stuff. This is to run your project. So right now, this is a really, <laughs> it's a really dumb app. If you just ran it on a device right now, you just see um, a white screen with nothing on it. So pretty dumb, but I mean, that's what we started out with, the basics. So you can run it if you want. Go ahead, this is how you stop it. And this right here, what you can do is you can actually choose a little simulator to run on your phone. And for these tutorials, I'm probably just gonna be sticking with iPhone 5. That's a pretty, pretty popular iPhone, so I think I'll go with that simulator. But eventually when you develop a full working ios app and you want to you know you're ready to put it in the app store then what you want to do is you probably want to test it on all of these simulators to make sure that it's going to look good on every device but for these tutorials you can just choose one of the iphones four five six it doesn't really matter all right so now this white bar in the middle in the middle right here is called the activity view and it's just a little indicator a quick little status message about what you're currently working on and some other messages too so that's what that is these right here are just well actually all of these buttons right here are just ways that you can change your layout if you ever see that this main section looks kind of weird then it means you're probably in this venn diagram looking one so make sure that you um show this one this is the standard editor with the three lines and I'll show you guys what these two do in a little bit and this is actually a pretty cool way to essentially like view your project in split screen and stuff like that but anyways skipping over that not really important right now however these buttons you will find important or useful immediately because what they do is they toggle these panels on and off for example this thing to the left is just a little file navigator to look at all of the files that you have in your project. However, you you don't really need to see this all the time and you may wanna put some, I don't know, just put some more focus into this main area. So what you can do is you can actually click this to show it or hide it. In other words, toggle it on and off. So that's what that is and of course the bottom one and the right one as well. And also if I'm ever like, okay, go to your file navigator and you're like, um, uh, where the heck is it? It's this button right here. So that's what those do. They come in handy a lot. So moving over here, the file navigator, of course, is where all of your files are for your project. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about what all these files are and how they tie into your bigger project. For right now, the ones we're going to be working with is this, the main storyboard. And just like a real two second one, the main storyboard is pretty much the overall design or the interface where you're going to be like dragging all the uh, buttons and stuff like that. And the view controller is kind of like the brains behind everything. This launch screen is whenever you first open the app and like the little, well, launch screen, that's... <laughs> That's a pretty good name for it, I guess. So, uh, yeah, see, so all these files we're going to be talking about in detail, but for right now, you can just click on main storyboard. That's probably the most exciting one. So what else do we got to do? All of this stuff in the main area is actually dependent on what file you have open. 
So again, if you click on like um, some coding file, then it's going to be a code editor. If you click on the main storyboard, then you're going to have this thing called the interface builder. And you can drag around that. So there is the two second tutorial. And in the next video, what I want to do is I want to start talking to you guys about this interface builder in a little more detail because right now we have a blank app and it is the most boring app that I've ever seen in my entire life. So in the next tutorial, we're going to drop some items on here and spice it up a little bit and I'll show you guys how to lay everything out and uh, well, start making our app look a little bit cooler. But for now, thank you guys for watching and uh, well, I'll see you guys next time.